What's really happening in your eyes if you have astigmatism? Did you know that not everyone sees these lines at night? I don't, because I don't have astigmatism. But astigmatism is super common. These lenses correct for astigmatism. So now I'll explain what astigmatism really means and how these lenses can correct for that. First, you need to understand how a properly functioning eye works. Let's say that light is coming in from very far away. The cornea and lens in your eye takes that light and focuses it down onto a single point on your retina. That's where all of your photo detectors are that can actually make sense of an image. This setup is how your eye again images something very far away, like a star. However, for something that's up close in reality, you're actually forming an upside down image on your retina. Well, you see that that point where light is focused happens sooner in the eye. However, this kind of setup for things far away is the easiest way to show exactly how a properly functioning eye works, because you see the focus exactly on the retina, and it's the most easy way to explain how different eye conditions affect proper vision. Astigmatism is deviation from proper eye function because the eye is shaped weird. It's asymmetric. So instead of being shaped like a sphere, it could be shaped more like a football. Usually this involves your cornea, the very front surface of your eye being uneven but the lens further inside of your eye could also be the thing that's asymmetrical. That asymmetrical shape causes the eye to focus light differently in different directions. That's why at night, a single point of light may be blurred into a line. One direction is focusing the light pretty well, but the perpendicular direction of that is off, and that dot gets spread out into a line. You could have perfect vision in one direction, but be near or far-sighted in the other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But what do near and far-sightedness mean? Laser demo to the rescue. So, as I showed before, in proper vision, the light is focused onto the retina. Being nearsighted means that the light focuses too near. It focuses too soon. So, the lens is focusing the light sooner than it should, so by the time it gets to the retina, those lines have spread out and they're no longer a single up-close spot. On the other hand, farsightedness is the opposite. So there, the light is focused later than it should be. So it's trying to focus outside of the eye, so by the time it hits the retina, it hasn't quite come to a focus yet, and you can see those lines are spread out. So in both cases, your vision becomes more blurry because the light isn't forming a proper focus on your retina. With nearsightedness, or myopia, things up close are in focus, while things further away in the background will be blurry. On the other hand, with farsightedness, or hyperopia, it's the things further away that will be more in focus, while the objects up close are blurry. Remember that with astigmatism, the eye is curved differently in different directions, so each of those directions will focus light differently. Now we get back to the funky lenses that correct for astigmatism. Because they're correcting for different errors in perpendicular directions, if I hold up this lens, you'll see that in one direction, its thickness and curvature is different than that in the perpendicular direction. But in order to understand how lenses correct for astigmatism, we need to define two different types of lenses, and how they're used to correct for near and far sightedness. So, the kinds of lenses I showed earlier are positive or plus lenses. You can see that they take light in and focus it down to a point. On the other hand, negative or minus lenses spread light out instead of focusing it to a point. You can see these lines of light moving away from each other. As you look through a positive or plus lens, you'll see that it magnifies, it makes me look bigger. While if you look through a negative or minus lens, it minimizes, so I actually look smaller through this one. And if you're farsighted, because the light is focusing too late, we need to move up this point of focus so that it lands on the retina. The eye isn't focusing the light strongly enough, so we need to use a positive lens because those focus light more. So if I take a positive lens and put it in front of the eye, you can see it shifts up the point of focus. Now it's focusing outside of the eye. When I put the lens in, it focuses inside of the eye. This lens is actually too powerful. If I chose a slightly weaker positive lens, I could move up that point of focus directly onto the retina instead of all the way inside of the eye. And with nearsightedness, the eye is focusing light too strongly. It's focusing sooner than it should. We need to push back the point of focus onto the retina, so we would use a negative lens. Those are the kinds of lenses that spread light out. So putting that in front, this one is way too powerful. It actually completely cancels out the first lens and we basically have straight lines again. But if I had a weaker negative lens, I could push back that point of focus onto the retina. I have a pair of eyeglasses here with negative lenses. They're not quite as powerful as that other lens. 
So if I have a nearsighted eye and I put these frames in front, if I have it lined up right, it's still too powerful. You can see the light is focusing actually off the board, but it is not quite as strong as the other ones that made the line completely straight. The lenses for astigmatism can correct for either near or far sightedness, but again, they correct for the light differently in different directions. So as I hold this lens up here, as I rotate it, you'll see it focus the light more sharply now, so more powerfully, and if I rotate it back, it has a less powerful focus. It focuses the light later. This is so it can correct for the light differently in those two different directions. And this negative lens for astigmatism spreads the light out like any negative lens, but as I rotate it, you'll see that the angle at which the light is spread out changes. Just like how the positive lens focus light differently in different directions. Because of these effects, if you look through the lenses for astigmatism, you see some different warping in different directions. Your lens prescription may look like a bunch of nonsense, but here's how you understand it. The first number is probably SPH, or spherical. This describes the overall curve and power of your lenses. If it is positive, you have positive or plus lenses. That again correct for farsightedness, moving up that point of focus. And if you have a negative number there, you have negative lenses or minus lenses that correct for nearsightedness. The next specification is probably CYL or cylinder. If you have any number there, you have astigmatism. And the higher that number is, the more powerful your astigmatism is, so the more asymmetrical your eye is. The next value is probably axis, and that describes the orientation of your astigmatism. It lets you and your eye doctor know the direction in which you have that asymmetrical shape. Contact lenses can be used for astigmatism, but they suck. Because they have to be curved differently in different directions, they're rigid. They're not thin and flexible like normal eye contacts. So they're harder and more painful to put in, and they're heavier at the part that's supposed to be at the bottom. So you put them in and then just have to blink and wait in pain for a little bit as it takes time for that contact to shift so that the correct bottom part of it is on the bottom of your eye. Laser eye surgery can also correct for astigmatism by changing the shape of your cornea so that it's more symmetrical. And that's it. Please comment down below to let me know what other eye-related ideas I should talk about. Thanks.